What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. I have been spending a good amount of time this weekend looking up deals because it was just Black Friday, it is now Cyber Monday, and I'm continuing my search for the best deals that are out there right now for anyone who might want to build or upgrade their own computer. The crushing sad part of holiday 2020 PC shopping is the complete lack of CPUs or graphics cards, especially if you wanted to upgrade to AMD, whether you're talking about the new 5000 series CPUs or even the 3000 ser series CPUs, those are all sold out everywhere. Graphics cards are pretty much sold out everywhere too. Even the 30 series and the 20 series all the way down to like a 5500 XT on the Radeon side and like a 1050 Ti on the Nvidia side. So I completely sympathize with any of you guys who are looking forward to building a new system this holiday season or doing a massive core component upgrade like a CPU or graphics card. I really hope things look better in 2021, but for now there are some good deals, especially if you're looking for extras or storage on the SSD side, memory side. Uh, there's some good case deals as well. So let's get started. Excellent! Join ASUS for their PC DIY Day on December 3rd. PC DIY Day is a celebration of the ASUS PC building legacy and will bring together a community of PC gamers, creators, builders, and modders for a day of live streaming and interactive educational videos with your favorite PC builders like my friend JJ, whose helpful tutorials will make building your own PC as easy as one, two, three. Prep, build, and play. There will be contests and giveaways too with $1,500 ASUS store gift cards up for grabs. So check the sponsor link in the description or head over to the ASUS YouTube or Twitch channels for more. I have a lot of deals to get through, so I'm going to power through as quickly as possible. These are all categorized and linked down in the video's description, so check it out down there. And I will be uh, doing some updates over the next 24 to 48 hours. So if new deals come in or if some deals expire, I will remove the expired ones and I will maybe add some new fresh ones as well. I think the most interesting thing about this holiday season is that I'm recommending Intel processors for anyone who actually really needs to get a system built like before the end of the year. There are actually some reasonable deals on Intel CPUs like the Core i9-10900F, which is $365. This is gonna give you the same performance as a 10900K. It just doesn't come with integrated graphics, so bear in mind you will need a graphics card, which might be a challenge right now. 10 cores, 20 threads, top of the range gaming performance and all that, and uh, actually available in stock. We'll ship within one to two days. Oh my gosh, uh, you will need an LGA 1200 uh, 400 series chipset motherboard, but there's some deals on those as well. Uh, if you're looking to one gen previous, you have the 9000 series from Intel. There's some great deals there as well. When it comes to CPU performance, it's pretty much right on par with the 10 series, especially if you do a little bit of overclocking. The 9900K is the last gen flagship for $320, used to sell for $500 to $600, so that's a nice discount there. Just with this one, remember you need a 300 series chipset based motherboard, not 400 series. Uh, they are not cross compatible with the newer motherboards. Or you can save $60 and go with the 9700K, uh, which is the eight core, eight thread version. So just no hyper threading on this one. Also an excellent gaming chip, just to pair it up with a 300 series motherboard. And bear in mind with several of the deals I'm talking about today, they can, you can buy them right now, you can make the purchase for the sale price, but they might not ship immediately. This one will be in stock to ship on December 8th. Here's another 10 series CPUs for $100, a little bit more entry level. Again, you need an LGA 1200 motherboard, but if you're looking forward to like Rocket Lake or something like this, that might this might be a good starter CPU for you. Again, for just $100 and it has integrated graphics quad core with eight threads. And again, in stock, available now, you can actually buy it. Uh, if you're looking for CPU coolers, this was a deal that was from Black Friday, but it's ongoing and it's a good cooler for a reasonable discount. Mark down to 130, you get an extra $7 off with this promo code right here. So since that's still around, I kept it in the list. I love a good air cooler and the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 is absolutely a good air air cooler, a 250 watt TDP. This one's $90 with a $20 off promo code, bringing it down to $70. Really solid air cooler there and a nice discount. Here is another air cooler, a little bit more mid-range, but you can bring it down to 15% off of 60 bucks is about $9 off, and then you get another $10 mail-in rebate card. So that brings the total price down to about $42. And if you want an air cooler that looks good, uh, is quite effective, comes with dual RGB fans, uh, I'd say that's a good bargain for that one too. And on the more entry level uh, side, but still a good looking cooler is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. The Hyper 212 has been a 30 to $35 cooler, one that we often see on sale for like 20 to $25 during Black Friday, but this is the Black Edition, so it has a much nicer finish on top. And of course it has that SF120R RGB fan, so it gives you, gives you a little bit of bling as well as a nice upgrade over a stock cooler. As mentioned, AMD CPUs are sold out everywhere. There's just no hope really of getting a 5000 series unless you're really, really on on top of uh, the restocking. I was casting around for 3000 series deals though, and those are really hard to find too. The 3900X should sell for about 
$400. The 3900XT is going to be a bit faster than the 3900X, and it's actually available and in stock for $455, which is not a great bargain or anything like that, but if you really wanted to build an AMD Ryzen-based system, this seems to be the most like in line with typical pricing and everything. So you're not paying a crazy markup with this, but I wouldn't call it a great deal either. It's just you know, one of the very few AMD CPUs that's actually in stock and available to buy. Here's a great deal that popped up over the weekend that I added to the Black Friday video, but uh, continuing here because it is still a great deal. The ASUS Prime Z490-A is an LGA1200 motherboard and not an entry level one either. I mean, it's not like top of the range, but uh, you get overclocking, you get, you get good power delivery, you get a really nice clean looking design with some silver and white accents. Usually sells for 180 and you got a promo code here that gets you $30 off, so brings the price down to 150. Pair that up with this 10900F and for about $515, you get a really, really solid uh, gaming platform to build on. Uh, you, you just need to find a graphics card. If you're looking forward to when AMD Ryzen CPUs are available, again, you might uh, look forward to it with an upgraded motherboard, an ASRock B550M Steel Legend here, uh, marked down to $130 from $155. Really solid board here from ASRock. It's, it's well reviewed. It's got good power delivery for overclocking. It's micro ATX, so good for smaller form factor builds. Here's the Gigabyte B550 Oris Pro AC. This is another one that was also on sale for Black Friday, but the deal continues. So $170 is a nice $30 mark down for that one. And again, a great home for a Ryzen uh, 3000 or 5000 series processor if you're looking for one of those in the future. If you're looking for a super budget sort of entry level, um, but still a nice board, a $65 ASRock B450M Pro 4. Again, this is a deal that was available over Black Friday, but uh, it still continues, although it's not in stock until December 23rd. So you will need to be a little patient with this, but this will get you a board that's compatible with the 3000 series and should be compatible with the 5000 series once they get a BIOS update out for it. So uh, a nice, entry level option there. And if you're looking for something more high end, but also a nice discount marked from $300 down to 270 is the ASRock X570 Tai Chi, which is ASRock's, uh, I, I don't think it's their highest end X570 board, but it's right up there with their flagships. So get a BIOS update and this should be compatible with the 5000 series CPUs too. And then here's MSI's MPG X570, also an X570 board, so great for PCIe 4.0 connectivity through the chipset. This one's marked down to 170. Uh, again, available to buy right now, but is not in stock until December 14th, so you will need a little bit of patience there too. Let's move into some memory deals. We got the Team T-Force Delta 16 gigs, uh, DDR4 3200 for only $65. This is a great option for a Ryzen 2000 or 3000 series CPU. Works great with Intel too, and it's got a nice design with some RGB on the top, so I'd say that's a solid deal deal for $65. If you want a little bit faster speed and something that is a great combo for a Ryzen 3000 or 5000 series CPU where DDR4 3600 is recommended, got a couple options for you there. For $80, you got the G-Skill Trident Z Neo. This is 3600 speed, it's Castellan C18, so uh, it's gonna work just fine. Actually, it's, this, this is the Neo series specifically from G-Skill, so this is like made to always work with Ryzen, which is nice. You've also got the Trident Z RGB, and honestly, this is, this is the exact same memory modules in this, it's just a slightly different design, and they're both $80, so same price for those either way, just choose whichever one you think looks better and will match better with your build. And then here I think is the best bang for the buck if you want good speed memory and you want a uh, 32 gig kit, two by 16 gigs for $140, you got the Rip Jaws 5 series kit, which again has worked great with Ryzen in my experience. This is 3600 cast latency 16. So this is gonna be just a little bit faster too uh, than those other kits I already showed you. Let's talk SSD deals because there's actually quite a few of these, starting with the Sabrent one terabyte rocket. This is a PCI IE Gen 4 SSD. So this one's gonna go up well above 5,000 megabytes per second reads. Only $150 marked down from 320. Uh, this is a temporary deal right now. So, so get it while it's hot. If you just want a one terabyte SSD, you can get that for $80 to $100, even for an NVMe one. You're paying more here because it's PCIe 4.0, which is the fastest spec right now. If you want the best bang for your buck, SSD for a two terabyte. This is what I'd point you towards, the SanDisk SSD Plus for only $170 for a two terabyte SSD. It's a SATA drive, so it will top out at SATA speeds, but uh, it's a great deal. There are a few other two terabyte SSDs for just $10 more than that for $180. This is the SanDisk Ultra, which is going to be uh, just a couple ticks faster when it comes to sequential reads and writes than the uh, SanDisk Plus, but that's $180. You also have a $180 WD Blue drive over here, also a 2.5 inch SATA drive, two terabytes, 
pretty much the same. Also from WD, you have their WD Black, the SN750, which is a really solid uh, M.2 NVMe SSD. Uh, it's PCI Express Gen 3, but this is one of the good ones. So $116 for that, uh, for like a games drive or like a core operating system drive. This is a really, really good choice if you want more speed than you get with a typical SATA drive or an entry level NVMe. I was trying to get a good deal on a two terabyte uh, NVMe SSD and this one sold out in like, like in the last 30 minutes since I pulled this up. So I will have to pull this one off the list. Sorry, this was an XPG SX8100 for $190. And here's the Samsung SSD 860 Evo. This is just a really solid drive all around because it's a Samsung drive and they've proven to be quite reliable. Not as good of a deal on this one because it's $200 for two terabytes, but um, this is kind of like my base level. But I think this is a nice starting off point to compare two terabyte SSD pricing with. Here's the best deal I found on a one terabyte SSD. This is a Team Group GX2, $76 for one terabyte. Uh, it's, it's a good, good deal. <laughs> and then here's uh, another deal that uh, was around for Black Friday, but if you really want a four terabyte SATA SSD, those are still quite expensive and you have to pay, pay about $100 per terabyte. But for $100 per terabyte, you get the WD Blue four terabyte version of that. It is back ordered over at Newegg, but it says it ships in uh, seven to 21 days. So you could order it now and get it sometime in the future. Let's talk cases next. This is the Lian Li T150, usually sells for over $100, down to 87. It is not the version with the tempered glass side panel, so you will need to have a bit of modesty and you won't be able to look at the internals of your rig, but a very solid mini ITX case that I have used and uh, it has a handle on top. I love, I love cases that have a handle on top, especially small cases that you might be prone to transport around. This is the Masterbox Q300L, and this one you can get all the way down to $35. So for anyone building a mic micro ATX system that uh, is looking for an entry level, solid all around case. This case doesn't have the best airflow. Um, I actually cut a hole in the front of mine in order to improve mine when I was doing a little bit of building in it. But if you're not putting crazy high end components in there, it does just fine. And for $35, again, a nice deal. Here's another one that uh, apparently has gone out of stock in the very recent past, uh, but for $79, the Masterbox TD500 mesh comes with included RGB fans in the front, three of them. That's kind of a cool design, I guess, depending on whether or not you think that's a cool design, but it does have a bit of accents rather than just being a typical box layout. And again, a nice airflow case for uh, $79, which is about $20 off. Hopefully it will come back into stock soon. Here's the Carbide Spec 05, another deal that was around on Black Friday, but is still ongoing. With a $20 rebate card, it brings it down to $33. Also the Fractal Design Meshify C for 60 bucks over at Newegg, an ongoing deal that was around on Black Friday, but is still a great deal, a uh, great case. You do have to pay uh, eight bucks for shipping or so on this one, so bear that in mind. Here's some power supplies, cause uh, you gotta power your builds. Uh, this is also a Black Friday deal that's sticking around for Cyber Monday with a $20 mail-in rebate card. $38 for a Corsair. 550 watt unit. I was trying to get some higher wattage units for anyone who's looking forward to maybe getting one of the higher end graphics cards and getting set up for that. This is the Enermax Cyber Brawn 700 watt. It's 80 plus bronze, but again, there's a $20 rebate card, so it brings the total price down to $50. And um, given how difficult power supplies are to find, only second to, I guess, CPUs and graphics cards right now, uh, that's also a solid deal. Finally, we got the Masterwatt 750 watt unit. If you are looking for one of those graphics cards that has a 750 watt power requirement, $20 rebate card brings this one down to $750. 80 plus bronze semi-modular, so there are nicer power supplies than this, but this gets the job done for a reasonable price. All right, here's some monitors. This is the Samsung 32 by nine, super ultra wide, 3840 by, by 3840 by 1080. So this one's, I feel like a little bit more of a niche one because it is, super ultra wide, like it's basically two 1080 monitors side by side. But it has FreeSync 2 HDR, I believe 144 hertz refresh rate, and it's marked down to 722 ish dollars, uh, which seems like a pretty good discount. Here's an LG ultra wide 21 by nine, not 32 by nine. So this one's 3440 by 1440 and uh, marked down to $800. So I, I, I think that's a good deal too, but marked down to $800, 144 Hertz with G-Sync compatibility. So I think that's a nice set of features as well for 800 bucks. Trying to get uh, some better bargains here for 1440 displays. And especially I think you want 1440, you want at least 120 Hertz, but ideally 144 Hertz or faster refresh rate. And then you probably want at least FreeSync, if not G-Sync support, depending on the graphics card you, you're set up with. So about $320 for those features in this HP monitor, which, which also has these gamer, these gamer accents on it, which also probably makes it appealing, right? Right, that's more appealing. Moving on though, we got the Acer XG270HU Amid Pix. This one's a 27 inch, uh, again, 1440 display, 2560 by 1440, standard 16 by nine aspect ratio. 144 Hertz with FreeSync for $280. And again, 
Ooh, look how gamery it is. It's got red accents. Here's another deal that was around for Black Friday, a 34-inch ultra-wide LG model. This one's uh, $798. This is an IPS monitor, so this is gonna be a good crossover display for somebody who needs to do content creation. It's also got display HDR 400. Great color re reproduction, though, with 98% uh, of the DCI P3 color gamut. Do bear in mind it is a 60 hertz refresh display, though. Um, that, I think I left that out when I was talking about this before. So 60 hertz, although it does have FreeSync. And here's another uh, sort of bargain on a 1440 display. This is an LG. It's 27 inch. It does have FreeSync. It is IPS. So again, you're going to have uh, good colors on this display. Only $227, although once again, this is a 60 hertz display. So if you're looking for a higher refresh rate, uh, you're going to need to pay a few more bucks and check out the other 1440 monitor I just talked about. Let's round things out with some uh, peripherals, some extras, some random stuff. Here's a 128 gig uh, micro SD XC card for $15 from San SanDisk. I thought that was a good deal for anyone who needs some more uh, SD card storage. Here's a wireless router from Asus, and they do a really good job with their routers. It's AC1200 dual band, so if you're looking to upgrade your router for more connectivity, more devices, or more throughput, I think that's a good deal for $45. Here's another great deal I think actually a lot of people took me up on with the Black Friday video for $40, marked down from $80, the Logitech G502 Hero, high performance gaming mouse. Really solid all-around mouse for $40, so I do not blame any of you who grabbed that. Thankfully, they are keeping the price at $40 through Cyber Monday for now, although it will not be in stock until December 9th. So you will have to have a little bit of patience to get that shipped. And finally, here's the Razer Black Shark V2. Again, a really solid all-around headset for $60. And again, that was a deal that was already available for Black Friday, but it's still around and it's still a good deal, so I'm leaving it on the list. That list, again, I'm going to be updating, so uh, come back to this video and share it with your friends and all that good stuff, and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. One final reminder that the links in the description are affiliate links. I meant to say this at the beginning, like I did at my Black Friday video, but uh, things are a little rushed this morning. If you click on the links and you make a purchase, though, I earn a small commission, and I want to be upfront and disclose that to you guys. That's probably all I got for the deals videos for this holiday season, but I do have uh, maybe some monthly builds for December coming up and some actual builds that uh, I'm actually pretty excited about. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Thanks again for watching. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next video.